The NBA trade window started Sunday, June 30th, and we have a lot to report. Hi, and welcome to the Hoop Scoop on Davis Sports Report. Please like and subscribe. Philadelphia 76ers. The biggest news is that Paul George teamed up with Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey in Philadelphia. George received a four-year deal for $212 million. Maxey signed a five-year extension for $204 million. Drummond agreed to a two-year deal. Eric Gordon will also be sticking around as he also agreed to a two-year deal. And Kelly Oubre Jr. is returning on a two-year deal. Could this be a super team brewing? If you didn't see our piece on Paul George and the 76ers, you should check it out. I'll post the link in the description below. Dallas Mavericks. On to the other big news. The Dallas Mavs signed Klay Thompson, who will join forces with Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving, who made it all the way to the finals this year. Thompson signed a three-year, $50 million deal, and it's reported that Golden State received two future draft picks. Wait, that can't be right, could it? Not for Klay. I mean, can you guys remember the days of Clay and Steph raining down threes like Hurricane Katrina between 2015 and 2018, just destroying every team in their path? And he's consistently averaged in the double-digit points per game, with last year being his lowest with an average of 17.9 points per game, which, like, is great. There's no way Golden State didn't get more than some future picks, right? No way. I mean, there are lots of pundits stating that Golden State did Clay wrong as he was part of the face of that franchise for many years. The Warriors camp did come out with a statement singing his praise, but I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section. Other Dallas news is that they also signed free agent Najee Marshall for a three-year $27 million deal and Quentin Grimes via a trade with the Pistons for Tim Hardaway Jr. and three future draft picks. They also lost free agent Derek Jones Jr. to the Clippers. Charlotte Hornets. The Hornets got veteran Reggie Jackson via a trade with the Nuggets for some second round picks. I mean, while Reggie has been in the league for a while, he played in 82 games last year and averaged about 10 points per game, so not shabby at all. The Hornets also acquired Josh Green via a three-team trade deal with the Mavs and the Warriors that involved the Klay Thompson trade. Reports are saying this might be the opportunity that the 23-year-old Josh Green needs to move from the bench to the starting lineup at Charlotte, who could use some defense in the backcourt. Los Angeles Clippers. Let's hop over to the Clippers now who managed to lose their bid to get Paul George to return. The Clippers signed center Mo Bamba coming from the 76ers on a one-year deal. Nicholas Batum, also coming from the 76ers, who was rumored to be retiring this year, but I guess he came back and didn't leave those millions on the table because he will be joining the Clippers on a two-year, $9.6 million deal. They will also get Chris Dunn, previously with the Jazz, Derek Jones Jr., previously with the Mavs, and Kevin Porter Jr. But the most important piece is that James Harden will return on a two-year, $70 million deal. Hey Clippers, I'm not sure if those new additions are going to get you past the first round of the playoffs this year. But who am I? I might be wrong. Also departing from the Clippers is free agent Mason Plumley, and he's heading to Phoenix Suns. Detroit Pistons. The Detroit Pistons, who got Tim Hardaway Jr. along with three future second round drafts picks via a trade with the Mavs in exchange for Quentin Grimes. The Pistons also picked up free agent Tobias Harris from the Sixers and Wendell Moore via a trade with the Timberwolves that also included the Pistons getting Bobby Clintman, the 37th pick on draft night. The Pistons lost free agent James Wiseman to the Pacers. Detroit was ranked 28th out of 30 teams at the end of the season and these trades might move y'all right down to the bottom. Don't get me wrong, Tobias Harris brings a lot to the table with points and rebounds, but this just wasn't enough. I don't know, the Pistons did re-sign Cade Cunningham for a five-year extension worth $226 million, so maybe that duo can get the Pistons out of the garbage next year? I'm not sure, what do you guys think? Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm going to briefly mention Cleveland, briefly, 
because ain't a darn thing happening over there except Donovan Mitchell returned on a three-year extension worth $150 million. But the real reason I wanted to mention the Cavs is that Bleacher Report has it rumored that DJ Burns Jr. will be joining the Cavs Summer League roster. I checked and his name isn't showing up yet, but I'm gonna keep looking back and I will be watching the Summer League, which kicks off on July 12th to see if we see DJ Burns Jr. out there on the court. Golden State Warriors. The Golden State Warriors picked up free agent Kyle Anderson from the Wolves on a $27 million sign and trade deal and Lindy Waters III via a trade with the Thunder in exchange for a 2024 draft pick in which they got Quentin Post, a seven-foot center who played for Boston College. They also picked up free agent DeAnthony Melton from the 76ers on a one-year deal. So, who is going to fill Clay's shoes? That's my question, but okay. The Warriors is also losing veteran Chris Paul uh, you know, the guy from the State Farm commercials. No, 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 not Jake. The other one, San Antonio Spurs. Next up is San Antonio Spurs, who got Chris Paul on a one-year, $11 million plus deal. Yep, CP will be joining up with the man that's quickly becoming the face of the NBA, Victor Wimbignana, and the new draft pick out of UConn, Stephen Castle. This is a good look for San Antonio, and I'm thinking that if Stefan's game translates to the NBA, this team is going to be a bigger problem than they were before. Miami Heat. The Miami Heat didn't make many moves. Uh, ring, ring. Hello, Miami. This is a fan here. Just calling to make sure you're awake and that you're aware that the trades are happening. Yeah, now. Right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so far the Miami Heat has only added free agent Alec Burke to a one-year deal. Reports are saying that they re-signed old man love. I mean, I'm just kidding. The man's only 35. He just looks old. Anyways, they re-signed Kevin Love for a two-year, $8 million deal and Thomas Bryant to a one-year deal. And yeah, that's about it. I mean, can somebody please wake up Pat Riley from his nap and tell him uh, what's going on out here? Los Angeles Lakers. Last but not least are the LA Lakers, and I am sure you all know that history is being made over there with the Bron Bronze. I bet y'all don't remember that 90s commercial about the Bon Bonds. The thing about a Bon Bon, it's almost always gone, gone. <laughs> yep, so let's see, how can we put a spin on that? Uh, the thing about a Bron Bron, it's almost always on, on. Yeah, 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 what do y'all think? So if you can do better, drop it in the comment section. If not, don't come over here criticizing me and my jingle, okay? And oh boy, have the memes been on fire regarding this pick by the Lakers. I mean, I could literally do an entire segment on it, but I will not get diverted. Maybe I'll do it in a short, but you know, because <laughs> they have been hilarious. Um, for right now though, I'm gonna keep it pushing. Other than the draft picks of Dalton Connect and Bronny, the Lakers have no new additions, despite the efforts that, that LeBron put in to get Clay over there. But LeBron is returning on a two-year, $104 million deal. And as for the newbies, Bronny is coming in with a four-year, $7.9 million contract, which I'm sure he could have easily made in college with an NIL deal, but that is neither here nor there. And Dalton Connect, AKA Connect Four, has signed a four-year deal uh, worth $18.4 million. Oh yeah, and the Lakers got a new head coach this year, LeBron's good friend, JJ Redick. I am sure all eyes are gonna be on the Lakers this year to see how this all pans out. And I'm sure they will probably have packed stadiums wherever they go because people are gonna wanna see the first father-son duo, AKA the Bron Brons. <laughs> so don't y'all go steal that. I came up with it first, give me my credit. The Bron Brons, I like it. Okay. That's going to be it for us today. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. As more trades happen, we'll be right back here with you guys to uh, let you know what's going on. And uh, again, Miami, hello. There's still some trades out there to be made. <laughs> Have a good 4th of July, and we will see you on the next one. Goodbye.